Hi everybody, this is Parker. So after arriving in Mexico, we traveled outside the city of the village of Comedorito. This is a very small village that has only 46 homes. This is the main dirt road of the village. Clearly you can see that we arrived during the short rainy season and the hills were super green and beautiful. Water was plentiful in the village stream that is usually dry during the rest of the year. Most of the cooking occurs in an outdoor stove and oven. It's too hot indoors and there's usually not enough space. The low roofs in most of these wood burning cooking areas creates a very unhealthy situation as mothers breathe in the smoke. The people lived in humble homes and yet they were still very proud of what they've accomplished. They still get water the old-fashioned way by going to the stream and carrying it back to their homes. During the dry season, the village stream is dry and they have to travel two hours round trip to get to safe drinking water. The water they get is dirty and has to be boiled and purified to reduce the clean water. During the week, our family lived in a vacant home. Other expedition volunteers slept in the villagers' homes with their children volunteering to sleep on the floor. We enjoyed a good rainstorm to wash ourselves like we were in a shower. It rained three times during the week. Comedorito seemed like a zoo of animals to us. The donkey next to our house would wake us up at least four times each night. The village people learn how goats can be a source of income and improve their circumstances.
Each team leader was assigned a tool bag containing the tools needed for the week. I was the blue team leader. There were three other teams. To build a concrete water cistern, we first had to tie the chicken wire to the stronger steel rebar. We worked side by side with the local villagers. We became experts at mixing concrete. We would mix wet sand from the stream with concrete mix. Next, we created the foundation for the water cistern. The cylinder wire form is moved and connected to the foundation. We then start to spread layers of concrete on the walls of the water cistern. These ladies are preparing the lid of the water cistern. The other teams were just as busy as my team was building water cisterns during the week. During the week, we also built outdoor toilets to improve sanitation. Very few homes had any toilets at all. We also built outdoor stoves. So much of the family cooking is performed in the outdoor kitchen areas. The stove's construction includes broken glass that melts during the first few cooking situations and thereby increases the insulation and heat of the stove.
we built outdoor ovens made out of steel drums modified by the local welder. Several inches of concrete is added to the exterior of the drum to improve heat insulation. We discovered during the week with the villagers of Comer Dorito that what we think is poor may actually include many aspects of what we strive for in our rich society. Family time, community connectivity, leisure time, gratitude, slower pace of life. We also learned to love our villagers. We accomplished a lot during this week. Four water cisterns, four toilets, four stoves, and four ovens. I am confident that much more will be accomplished in the future. Once water, sanitation, and cooking is improved, villagers can finally turn their attention to improving the efficiency in gardening using hydroponic technology. This method of growing plants uses mineral nutrients in water without soil. The future looks very bright for the villagers of Comodorito. Y estoy muy agradecida porque me apoyaron con mi cisterna, este, me apoyó Parque y su familia y muchísimas gracias y pues estoy muy agradecida por la cisterna que me apoyaron para hacer, que es un beneficio para guardar el agua y muchas gracias. Ah, pues para ir por el agua pues, durábamos hasta 3, 4 horas acarreando el agua para tomar y para las plantas y todo eso. Y ahora pues ya no, porque ya, ya nos ahorramos todo eso con la, con la cisterna que nos apoyaron. Pues era a diario ir por el agua porque pues no nos aguantaba. En el mismo día que la traíamos se nos terminaba y otro día hay que ir por más. Y agradecemos también que que por parte de parque tengo mi cisterna, se lo agradezco, ya la tengo llenita de agua, para el día que venga darle un vaso de agua de ahí de la cisterna donde anduvimos trabajando. Y muchas gracias y se los agradezco. Me llamo Francisca, te quiero darle las gracias a, a Queen y a su hermana Mirín Miranda y a Mía porque ellos me anduvieron ayudando en la cisterna, que fui beneficiada y me ayudaron a trabajar. Y les doy las gracias porque ya no voy a sufrir de agua, ya la voy a llenar de agua y ya, ya voy a tener agua para bañarme, para hacer la comida. Y muchas gracias que me anduvieron ayudando. 
y ojalá vuelvan a, a venir algún día a toda la familia de Parque. ¿sí? Este, disculpen si estoy nerviosa, no estoy acostumbrada a esto. No. Muchísimas gracias y Dios que los bendiga y los espero algún día otra vez aquí para darle las gracias en persona. Hasta luego. Way down here, you need a reason to move. Feel a fool, running your stateside games. Lose your load, leave your mind behind, baby Jane. Oh, Mexico, it sounds so simple, I just got to go. The sun's so hot, I forgot to go home. Guess I'll have to go now. Bye.